And we're back. We're sitting at a weird angle because stuff is happening. <laughs> but okay, anyways, so last time Sasuke mostly played as him, attacking as he attacked the. Actually, only played as him. Well, now we played a mission with Naruto. Whatever. Uh, mostly Sasuke as he was attacking the Gokage Summit, attacking and picking fights with people way stronger than him back to back. <laughs> um. And Madara revealed his plan to put the world in a matrix like Genjutsu. And Naruto's trying to parse out, you know, what he wants to do about this. So we're going to run down because we got called back. And that's where this is going to be where a lot of r <laughs> ranting about the scenes that happen will happen here. Huh? Sakura and Sai and everybody else. What are you doing here? Yeah, Rock Lee, Sai, Kiba, and Sakura, of course. <clears throat> Naruto, we need to talk. We could, you could have waited until we got back. Huh? What did you just say, Sakura? Naruto, I said I love you. The boy finally won. <laughs> finally won her over. We should listen when they will get to it. Feelings to you. Sakura, what in the world happened? You've always said that Sasuke was the one. Nothing really. It's just that I finally woke up. It's true. The old me loved Sasuke, but again, lot of Things to talk about here. We'll get there. A criminal. And most of all, everyone else just has such a straight reaction. Lee was freaking out here. Naruto, you've become more important to me than he is. You've always stuck by my side, supporting me. I guess I finally realized if I have you with me, that's enough. So, Naruto, you can stop chasing Sasuke. Sasuke isn't coming back to us. So please, forget about him. Quit it, Sakura! What are you so mad about? I, I just told you I like you instead of Sasuke. You're going about this the wrong way, girl. I hate people who lie to themselves. Uh, I'm lying to myself? What are you talking about? We'll break it down here. We'll break it down here. It just sounds like an excuse. You're not the type to lie like this, Sakura. That's not what you really feel, is it? I... Even if that's what you really think, my feelings aren't going to change. I will definitely bring Sasuke back. It's for my own sake, too. <sighs> Enough! Let's go. Kiba, Lee, Sai. Alright, so yeah. A lot there, and there's going to be more information, so we'll just hold off on that. Are you sure this is what you wanted, Sakura? Kiba, I need a favor. What? <clears throat> I want to go look for Sasuke right away. Help me. Chapter 2, Team 7 Assembles. Okay, I don't know how long this will go, but it shouldn't take that long. So yeah, Sakura confessing Sakura. her feelings. What I happened? don't think they were all falsified, but her approach is what tipped Naruto off. <laughs> we'll get back to that. Hey, didn't you just Sorry, leave? But you just left with Sakura. You're a clone. I wanted to relay the truth that Sakura tried to, but wasn't able to tell you earlier. Again, we got the short and truncated version for the sake of the game, so it's like there's a lot of context missing right now, and I'll try my best to fill in the blanks because it's been a while since I've read this section. Truth? She was acting weird. So she was hiding something, huh? 
Before we came here, all the Leaf members our age met to discuss Sasuke. What she really wanted to tell you was the decision they made <coughs> there. Decision? What did they decide? Your classmates intend to... dispose of Sasuke themselves. Well then. <laughs> dispose of Sasuke? What? Thanks, Kon Konoha12, for having my back. And Sakura. Did Sakura Konoha10, really because 12 includes Sasuke and Naruto, but you know. Sakura loves Sasuke! There's no way! Sasuke will plunge It was her idea, as I recall. If this goes on, he'll spark a war. Well, too late for that, but you don't know He's that just yet. another criminal now. No one in the Leaf has any sympathy for those aligned with the Akatsuki. Sakura's no fool. She's not a child who doesn't understand the situation or what the circumstances are. Unlike some blonde people. That's why she came all the way here to try to tell you all that. And she did it in a clumsy way, thinking... Why didn't she just say it? By her confession, she released you from the burden of the promise you two had made. <sighs> Naruto, please! This is my wish of a lifetime! Please! Please bring Sasuke back! It's okay! I'll bring Sasuke back for sure! That's my promise of a lifetime! And that's what she thought it was all about. She thought she was do he was doing all that for him, trying so hard just for her. But no, that that her his promise he meant it, but it was on top of he was doing it for himself as well. That you know, that that promise was not the only reason he has been going after Sasuke well, this hard. You, you still wanted to save Sasuke. I think that's why she couldn't state the truth. Actually, Sakura had asked all of us not to tell you anything. She said she'd be the one to do so. But she left without telling him. What is Sakura planning to do? This is just my conjecture, but I suspect... She's planning to kill Sasuke herself, on her own, isn't she? It's quite likely. It He's got it figured out. Sakura would never... Sakura loves Sasuke so much! And I believe it's because Just like me. What? Leave Sasuke to continue I'm not hiding it. No, I do. Yeah, I believe. Yeah, sorry. Even if the only way is to kill the person she loves by her own hand. Can't stand to see him go farther into the dark that here. That's what she has resigned herself to. For having fallen in love with him. <gasps> Punishment for herself. For, you know, falling for a guy who's gone this far. No, Naruto's mind must be inside out after learning this. Question is, what's he gonna do? There you are. Hey, we're here to bring more complications. <laughs> There's something you need to hear right away. We're gonna tell you what happened at the Five Kage Summit. So listen up. I know your ears are probably buzzing. And there's the comedy relief considering all that. Sorry, there's a lot to digest there, and I'm waiting for all the information to present itself before I go on my rant. Tremolo, yeah, tremolo. Shinobi, we endure. Shinobi. Suppressing our sobs. I forget who voices B. We finally snuck out of the village. What are you doing, rapping away to yourself like that? <laughs> You're giving away our position, man. Prime chances like this won't come your way often. I know you know that. I forget. Yeah, B and uh, uh what was it? Um, but that was a fake. Right now, ah, I can't remember the name of the ox. Of eight tails. By me, the B, that substitution strategy. Yeah. Yeah, explaining how he escaped. And it wasn't easy. You better use it for something instead of wasting it on rap. How no, dare you? Eight. <laughs> this is the ultimate rap in confusion. A brand new passionate collaboration, yo. <laughs> Sorry, and B is ask, great, and I love no, how. What I'm saying. What was it? Hachibi? Or, uh, yeah, I can't remember. A-Tails' you know, name. 
it's back. Wee! Ah, uh, never mind. No worries, just you watch me, Ado. Real soon I'll get a major debut, yo. Sure, listen, B. Tell me you've picked up on him. There's someone that feels like trouble coming this way. Inca training is top priority. Brilliant, ultimate. That will be my legacy. <sighs> yo. Uh, yeah, let's see. Uh, uh, Katero Colbert. As voice of B, who's great. Monster doing Yuki. Right. Yuki, name for the eight tails. Sorry. I'm paying attention to the game. I'm just also. I tell you? I said trouble was coming this way. Also, Fred Tatascore. I now recognize the voice. Oh, yeah. yeah. I've searched high and low for you, eight tails. You I honestly forgot about this fight in my estimations on how long this would take. The name was Akatsuki, wasn't it? My great blade Sharkskin loves powerful chakra, and it seems to have caught scent of something delicious. I apologize, but you must feed Sharkskin. Please don't worry, though. I won't let it kill you. Huh. I'd rather concentrate on my training, but you're in the way, and I feel like complaining. <sighs> this personal bills will take some time. What a myth! But no worries, I will erase him in a jiff. <laughs> it's like poetry in raps. <laughs> actually be erased. Show you you ain't no match for me. I'm gonna make you weep, you sharky creep. I'll, uh, uh... Ah, oh, my flow. <laughs> Kisame Hoshigaki, pleased to meet you after the fact. Kisame <laughs> Hoshigaki, okay? Eaten by an octopus KO. Alrighty. So, yeah, and this was also very fun at the time when this happened, where, you know, after all the drama going on with Naruto, the Gokage Summit, Sakura's Confession, which, again, I've got a lot to say about, and we'll get there when more information is presented to us. Um, but yeah, then in between all of that, we then have, well, we had a lot of stuff going on, where we had, yeah, Killer B, you know, um, you know, still around, and then fighting Kisame, who we've not seen fight, really, um, who we've not seen go all out, uh, well, not even all out, well, we've never seen him really go all out, from him fighting the Jonin in, uh, you know, the Jonin, Kurenai, and Asuma in the original, um, part of the story, and then fighting Team Guy, um, in early Shippuden, um, during the Gar retrieval mission, and so we get to see him, you know, talk about the shark skin, which turns out to be a, you know, I don't know if they're gonna, sh I don't remember if they show it off here, but shark skin turns out to be a sentient weapon, to a degree, and actually is alive and absorbs chakra and gets bigger and stronger, and we get to see more of Kisame's real power. But we also get to see B in comparison to Naruto, who's right now, you know, not able to really use the Nine Tails chakra. We get to see B do this stuff. Yeah, we just get to see someone who's got full control or, you know, full a full trusting bond with um, his bijou, his tailed beast. And so he can just jump into, you know, the angry, you know, the red and black tailed states, which was a big problem when Naruto did it. But he's got control over that and then can push itself, push himself to like that, you know, unbridled bony you know skeletal state which was like you know that's when Hinata was you know supposedly killed in battle and that was like oh this is the next step off of four tails this is bad meanwhile B can just do that and he's got full control and he shows it off so yeah it was just fun seeing B in action in this fight fighting Kisame who also unveiled his own you know <laughs> that man? Who are you talking about? Okay, yeah. Something nervous making. 
but ah, uh, whatever. This sword is my loot and your memento to boot, yo. Better enjoy rapping while you still can. <laughs> Say what? What are you talking about, eh? <laughs> Yeah, I wish this was a full boss fight, but before you cut my knees. Forgot about that line. Anyone would be able to find you. Right. And your chakra was like an open book. There was no way to miss it. You little Congratulations. You played yourself. Take the iron claw punishment. Bro, no. You're the boss. Don't get cross. <laughs> but yeah, this fight was actually cool, where at first it was just B fighting Kisame on his own, who then transformed into this shark state, which was really fight. cool. I'm going to pause that for a second. And yeah, Kisame got to unveil like his shark form, which was really cool, looked really interesting. Um, and then, yeah, but then A showed up, and then you got the, you know, the Cloud Brothers teaming up, and then decapitating Kisame with the double lariat, which was awesome. And then, yeah, B taking over or taking the Samehada for himself. So that was fun. And then, yeah, immediately getting grounded. <laughs> and grounded is the right word. But, yeah, so Killer B jumping in with, um, you know, his interactions, um, you know, in the middle of all this was a lot of fun. Oh. I see. I can't believe the summit got so chaotic. Naruto. This is also a war to protect you. As Kazekage, I will do so at all costs. My text box is covering and my face. If, as an Akatsuki subordinate, Sasuke Uchiha were to stand against us, I will show no mercy. Sasuke doesn't see you anymore. He sees only darkness. <laughs> His eyes are shut to the light you're trying to provide to him. You once declared to me that you would be Hokage one day. Well, I've become Kazekage. If you truly vow to take on the mantle of Okage, then you must do what needs doing as Sasuke's friend. He didn't need to hear that from I you, of you all people. Friend. Before... Friend was just a word to me. Nothing more, nothing less. But after meeting you, I realized something. That what that word means is important. Now you must decide for yourself what you can do for Sasuke. <laughs> Goodbye for now. Naruto. Kakashi, what now? First of all, we need to stop Sakura. I'll stay with Sakura. I'll try not to let her get close to Sasuke, but I'll get there as soon as I can. Sai, guide me. I'm going to. You wait here. From here on out, this is my job. But if you and Sakura see each other now, I can't imagine things will end peacefully. <laughs> Yamato, I'm counting on you. Okay. Certain things aren't gonna happen this time around. No, you don't. <laughs> I'm sorry, Naruto. Sit tight until you've cooled down a bit. We're in the snow, it's a given. Okay, yeah, so here's the thing. With everything that happened, okay, real quick, I'm gonna do my rant because yeah, Sakura's confession, and this is what, you know, this is a very touchy subject where uh something i have not mentioned but if you're looking for a very good naruto retrospective you should totally watch um uh totally not mark who did a great retrospective um reviewing naruto his first time reading through it and yeah he got loads of uh threats for talking about sakura and talking about his true feelings on this whole situation because yeah if you did like sakura this is what kind of burned you in some cases, and that's a very heated subject about how the scene is interpreted and everything, but here's how I look at it, because here's the thing, because, yeah, from Naruto, from 
Naruto's perspective, he just had like the girl he had been chasing for, you know, since his, you know, since he was 12, I'd say since he was young, but he's still, he's still a kid basically. But you know, the girl he's been chasing, the girl he's been pining over finally confessed to him, but he noticed something was off about that because why did she go out of her way to do it like this? Track him down in the middle of, you know, confessing after finding out what happened with Sasuke. And he just, he, he, you know, Naruto's dumb, but he understands people's feelings, um, whether they understand it or not. And here's the thing. I believe there's some truth to what Sakura was saying. I do believe it's, you know, there was partial truth in that, that she did love him, that she did actually care for him for, you know, does actually care for him in a romantic sense. But... Um, that's ultimately overseeded by how she feels about Sasuke, even after all of this. And the thing is, like I said earlier, she is thinking that it's only her, the promise Naruto made to her is why he's still bothering to try and bring him back. But it's elaborated more in the anime and manga where he is getting hit, you know, getting himself hurt to protect Sasuke and... There's a whole talk with Shikamaru is just sort of like, you know, what that means, where this will domino into war if something doesn't happen now, and that's before, um, you know, everything else. And, you know, Sakura feels guilt that Naruto is risking, risking himself to protect her and pr try and get Sasuke back, thinking that, you know, fronting the guilt for something that's ultimately ultimately Naruto's decision because it's not just for her it's for him she's you know he's not trying to save Sasuke just because she asked him to he's trying to save Sasuke because he's his friend and he still believes that he still believes he can reach him but you know, with not Sakura's fake confession, which, you know, like totally not Mark says, as I recall, you know, it's ultimately stupid of her to even try this, th try this because he's the only one who can do anything about this anyways. Um, but that's another thing. Again, I have not seen the video in a while, but you know, it's just sort of like, there are a lot of logistical reasons why this was not going to work out, but you know, ultimately, you know, so she's thinking if she can just confess to Naruto, he will drop it, and then she she can convince him to move on and forget about Sasuke. But that's immediately what tips him off. It's just sort of like, no, I am not going to forget about my friend. I, You are lying to yourself if you think I'm only doing this for you. If you think, you know, confessing to me is going to make me stop what I'm doing. Again, I feel like there was some truth to that because she was kind of hinting at it throughout the, you know, Shippuden up to this point that she is starting to notice him more. She is starting to feel something, but ultimately, you know, he can't accept those feelings because they're not genuine enough because she's not, yeah, they're not genuine enough. She's just trying to basically manipulate him and you know that is the right word she's trying to emotionally manipulate him because she knows she can do this to him and you know try and win him over and woo him but again she's thinking too narrowly about this he's not doing this just for her he's doing it for himself too so when then Sai comes up and reveals like actually every, all of your friends have agreed they're going to try to put him down and they were trying to figure out how to break that to you so they're and you know but you still want to save him so they're just not going to tell you. And so that has Naruto spiraling with just like all my friends have given up on Sasuke. Everyone who's been with me up to this point has now let him go including Sakura. Um, despite how much she still cares for him. And, you know, I'll be the first to admit, there's a lot of problems with Sasuke and Sakura's relationship, no matter how they try to retcon it in Boruto. I'll admit that much. You know, there's a, they needed more time, you know? But I, reg regardless, that's another conversation. <clears throat> you know, there is problems to how they portray that relationship, but that's also just a kishimoto issue because he does not know how to write women he just doesn't tsunade is like the best women characters get in this series um and i don't say that dismissively tsunade is actually a really interesting character i know she's just like a you know a fan service object but she actually does have her very interesting qualities <clears throat> but anyways but you know 
So it's, it's like, and, you know, but, you know, Naruto is just thinking it's like everyone's giving up on Sasuke, including Sakura. And then Gara comes up to tell him, it's just like, hey, if you're actually going to become Okage, if you're actually going to be revered by your peers, you have to do this. You have to finally put your foot down and find your line. And and partially it seems like Gara just like, like Gara, he does not want to do this, but ultimately, you know... If it mean if taking down Sasuke means protecting everyone in his village or protecting the world, he's going to have to put that over him. And that's what he's telling Naruto that he might have to do. So, and again, Nar Ga hearing that from Gara, someone that Naruto won over, that he changed, and then hearing from him that's like, your friend won't change if he's like this. And in the manga and anime, you know, Naruto just hyperventilates and breaks down. He passes out because he is having a panic attack because, again, all of his all of his friends have abandoned, you know, kind of abandoned Sasuke and are not and are planning to kill him. And that just sends him down a spiral. It's just sort of like, no, he's our friend. We can't do this to him. And, you know, that just sends him down a spiral. But, so yeah, it's just like, that's what happens. And it's just like, it's so rough. So, sorry, that's just me parsing out my feelings about this whole situation. And yeah, because that's just how I, that's my read on it. It's like, you know, there is truth to what Sakura is telling Naruto about like how much she does care. But it's ultimately to try and manipulate him to give up when that's just something he's not going to do. And when hearing that everyone else has given up on Sasuke, you know, he, that's just not what he's going to do. So, sorry, you know, every, continuing, you know, at this point, everyone's just sort of like, hey, you got to face reality. Sometimes you just have to let, let go. And there's just no saving everyone. When Naruto insists that that's not true. <laughs> Moving on. Hey. I hope I was, uh, you know, explain that yeah, well enough. It's definitely Sasuke's scent. If we keep going straight, we'll run right into him. <laughs> Finally. Let's go. Right. Right. Yeah, so this was just like the talk everyone else had. And yeah. And, you know, Kiba kind of points out, you know, in other versions of the story, it's just sort of like, hey, aren't you going to tell him the real reason why we're here? Oh, this is a nice shot. Um, but anyways, so it's just like, hey, okay, you tried that. Now can we talk to Naruto about the real reason we're here? We're going to fight Sasuke. Sorry, I'm ignoring some of these texts, but they're kind of like the filler for stuff going on. But we might wrap up here early, actually, because what's coming up next is going to be a lot. Well, let's see. Actually, no, we'll go a little bit farther. But, you know, everyone else decided it's like, it's okay, we're going to go kill now. Sasuke. Uh, and... I am getting nervous. I you know, she I brings Kiba to track him, Lee to help fight, and Sai because, you know, also to help fight. Excuse me, can we stop a second? What is it, Sai? But... Sakura, you mean to dispose of Sasuke by herself, don't you? <laughs> After you use what you have in your hand to put the rest of us to sleep. Yeah, he caught her on this. <clears throat> What does this mean? It means exactly what it sounds like, Lee. Sakura has planned to fight Sasuke alone from the beginning. What? You were gonna do it alone? But Sakura, we promised we would all do it together. I'm sorry. Man, we are all in the same boat, so to speak. Let us go the whole way together. <laughs> I will gladly help us murder our former friend with you. I'm not letting anyone proceed. Sai. You. I knew it. I always thought you were kind of fishy. I mean, you're right, but not about this. No match against Sasuke. Besides, I promised Kakashi Sensei I wouldn't let any of you go. So, no one gets past me. I mean, you guys are ahead of me, so if you just turn so around, you can us, go, but no matter what. Look, I get Kakashi Sensei's intentions, but we can't let Sasuke roam free. 
Three against one. I'm at a disadvantage. Still, I have to buy time until Kakashi Sensei gets here. Sai, my mind is made up. Nothing you say will change it. If you get in my way, I won't hold back. Yeah. And yeah, mainly Sakura just knocked them out immediately. Sok Sai tried to stop her, but then the she pulled a fast one on him. You can't stop me. But yeah, but here's the thing. And why Sai, you know, Sai, who's been by the books, been very mission centric, you know, at one point was total well, you know, even tried to kill Sasuke himself for the foundation. You know, he was willing to go through with it at one point. And then he met Naruto, who, you know, changed him. Who whoops. This is the most damage we've taken in any of these fights. But you know, Naruto had a hand in changing Sai, in how he looks at people, and how he acknowledges, you know, these people are his friends, and he recognizes, you know, to a degree, like, kind of understands, you know, from how Naruto's described it, it's like, okay, this is the bond you share with Sasuke, I kinda get it, and you're gonna lose that if this goes through. So, I'm going to help, you know, Sai wants to help. And he wants to, like, you know, protect the bond that Naruto and Sasuke have. Under control. Now we have to... Sorry. I'm just continuing to rant. Hero XP. Okay, that's unlocked. Okay, all the... Yeah, all the things are unlocked. And then I think further on, it just increases the level. Part 1 Hinata. Okay, that was it. But, you know, it's like Sasuke... Or, you know, Sai... <laughs> is, you know, has gained the empathy win, that he loser. lacked when he first, you know, when they first met him. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. I really do have to defeat Sasuke myself. <clears throat> no. She took Kiba and Lee out with me. Kakashi Sensei. Sorry. Still trying to go it alone. You're not enough, girl. I'm sorry you're not. Okay, you know what? We'll, we're, we're gonna stop early here. Now there's gonna be like a long... Yeah, we'll wrap up here because there's not gonna be another spot to really run around and take it in. So we'll just pause here. And yeah, next time we'll finish up this chapter, I'm pretty sure. Because of what's coming up next. So yeah, spent a lot of time, you know, hashing out my feelings about that whole situation. Because, you know, at first, you know, I was a Naru Saku. Or, yeah, Nar... Uh, am I getting the right? <laughs> Naru Saku sh shipper. No, that's Sasuke. Sasu Wait, yeah, you know, yeah, no, Naru Saku. Sorry. But I was a Naru Saku shipper. Because I do like Sakura. I still do for a lot of reasons. You know, admit, you know, she's... Not made the best decisions, and, you know, she was an obnoxious little thing in the first part of the story. But she does grow, and she does change as well, and this is just, like, her, you know, coming to the wrong conclusion about what she knows about the situation or how she thinks people are feeling. And, you know, and I was a Naru Saku shipper, was just sort of like, you know, ah, she finally confessed. It's finally happening. You know, it's just like, it's finally gone through. And, and, like, you know, the ship has sailed. The <laughs> sails have been drawn. But, you know, but it's just sort of like, but yeah, Naruto points out, it's like, you're lying to yourself. This is not genuine. Something else is going on that you're not telling me, and you are not really being uh, upfront about your true feelings. There might be some truth to them, but there's something you're not telling me. <laughs> and, yeah, that's kind of where the relationship ended, at, well, you know, ended as if it started, but, you know, it's like, well, we'll get into that, how Naruto processes that later to an extent, but, you know, it's just sort of like, you know, the confession finally happened, and then it's rejected, because, you know, if Nar and it's something that kind of actually pops up in a filler arc, you know, later on in Shippuden after this part, but, you know, it's like where Naruto talks to um, a girl trying to escape an arranged marriage, as I recall. And it's just sort of like, you know, it's like, I, there's someone I care about. 
and but I'm not going to force that on her. I'm not going to take advantage of that of her in order to get, you know, what I want from her. I want it to be genuine, but if in the end it's not me she's truly in love with, I'm just glad she's happy and I can move on and I can move on and be good with that. You know, there is just like a aspect of it where it's just like Naruto does care. He if he were to win over Sakura, he doesn't want it to be, you know, a lie. He wants it to be fully genuine. And I know, you know, as I mentioned, it's like that's a filler arc, but and you know, people will say like, "Oh, non-canon." The sentiment is still good, you know? <laughs> so, sorry. Uh I'm yeah, I'm trying to remember off memory. I should have done more research. I should have been reread some of these arcs and, you know, watched a couple of videos before do, you know, starting this let's play. But again, I'm riding the high of the 20th anniversary. It's just like, I just want to get back to Naruto. I want to come back to this. And, you know, it's just like, I'm hashing out all these feelings that I have not really, you know, expressed any other way and like reanalyzing things through a new lens. And it's just so nice to do. But anyways, okay. All my ranting has um, led us up to, like, a good stopping point, so we'll wrap up here for right now. Next time we continue, you know, stuff's going on with Donzo, and we'll continue from there. So, hopefully you enjoyed my ranting. <laughs> hopefully I made sense. So, until next time, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Like and subscribe and all that. This is Samara, signing off.